please welcome to the stage, Darman Bamra! Hey, how's it going? Oh man, the, the third Irish act of the night and it's fucking me. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Uh, how is it possible to look like that, but sound like that? Is that even possible? Of course not, of course not. No. You should have known better. Now that I've earned your trust, hello. Um, <laughs> that is nice to be here, man. My name's Damon. Uh, I grew up in a place called Wembley. Do we know Wembley? Yeah, so it means that until the age of 12, uh, I hadn't realised that my family and I had actually moved out of India. A very Indian town. Very Indian town. So, uh, so Indian, right? That uh, you go to the local shops to get fireworks. Uh, as in on Diwali, not like a random Tuesday. And, uh, and the prices would be up and it would say one box of fireworks for £20 or two boxes of fireworks for £40. No deals, just maths. <laughs> That's the kind of place it was, man. Like, you would see white people in Wembley, but only because they were trying to find themselves, you know? <laughs> That's... Uh, <laughs> It's the kind of place it was. Uh, I, I do think it's a weird time to be Indian, though, man, because we live in the modern day, but we still follow these superstitions from the past. I don't know if anyone can relate. So, for example, on Tuesdays, you can't eat meat, right? Saturdays, you can't buy metal. <laughs> it's true. Monday to Sunday, you can't love your kids. You can't. <laughs> you can't. It's very sad and problematic, you know? Yeah, when else am I going to buy metal? Uh, it's the best day. It's the best day. Uh, I was thinking, though, I was thinking about the weirdest thing to do with my culture, right? Punjabi culture. And I think, I think I've got it figured out. Uh, and it's that apparently we have a soundtrack to our whole culture. And you're looking at me like you don't know it. <laughs> but you're all singing it in your heads right now. Is, is anyone going to... Any, any brave racists in tonight? <laughs> you, you know the one. It's like... Um, ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding Why'd you make me do it? That's the soundtrack to all the racism in my life, man. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really conflicted by it, okay? Because, look, on one hand, right, tune, <laughs> right? But on the other hand, I don't want to be sat on the train one day, you know, listening to it really loudly, and someone sits down opposite me and overhears and just thinks, <laughs> thought so. <laughs> I don't want to be that stereotype, man. Does anyone know what it means? Right, so the song is called Monday on Tobachke, and the chorus loosely translates to, you've just come of age, so beware of the boys. <laughs> yeah, why do you think they're always playing it in the club? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's less a song, more a catchy public service announcement. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, um, so, what's that? It's, it is amazing. It is, thank you. <laughs> That's the validation I came for. Thanks. Good night. Um. <laughs> uh, you, guys, you guys are the Kiwis, right? No, one, one Kiwi. Okay. What I love about Kiwis is that you, you guys, Kiwis sound like Australians who've been, uh, they sound like Australians who've been healed, kept of. Thank you. That's my observation about New Zealand. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I love walking around London. I, I love one of the reasons I love uh, London, right, is because it's so multicultural. Yeah, which for me means loads of Australians, <laughs> right? It's, yeah, <laughs> it's cool. That like, I really love Australians. I, I started this job with this dude called Mike, 
Um, and uh, we got really well now, but it took a little while because he didn't really understand British sayings at first. So I'd be like, hey, Mike, how's it going, man? 